We're not done with the kids just yet. Next up, we head out to Potomac Overlook Park, where a new generation of green Arlingtonians are learning all about nature at the new Energarium. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Kaiser. I'm relaxing outside the Circle Garden at Potomac Overlook Regional Park. There's a lot of circles around here and a lot of cycles. And over the past 18 years or more, the staff here at Potomac Overlook have tried to connect people with nature, connect people with the history of the Arlington region and their place in it. Well, my time for relaxing is over. We're going to go inside and meet Martin Ogle, my old pal, for about 20 years now. Martin has helped create the Energerium, a whole new way of looking at how we connect to the land and how we connect to the future of energy and our use of it. Well, the um, Energerium is kind of a culmination of what we've done here for a long time. It's looking at energy and living systems. And we've always said that energy is the single biggest nexus between human life and the right. rest of life on planet Earth. So not only understanding how systems work, mm -hmm. but also the consequences of doing things that aren't kind of compatible with that system. Right. Right. So that's, that's the impetus for it. Okay. Now it's, I mean, this is very much a learning center. And I know this is very important to you in terms of teaching children about energy use and, and their connection to the, to the land and to the earth and how they use things. How do you, how do you see using this, this resource for children? Well, first of all, it offers a kind of a hopefully fun glimpse at how life works and, and within the context of energy. So it gets people kind of focused where maybe right. before they weren't. And then once they're focused, then we do have things all around the park, let alone the nature center, right. that tell people a little bit more about the nuts and bolts. So how does a solar energy system work? How, does, how do plants grow? Right. Right. Uh, what is an organic garden? Things right. like that. Okay. So a lot of what we do here revolves around energy or circles of life and cycles, right. and they all tie together in a very cohesive way that way. Now it's very quiet right now, but that's usually not the case. <laughs> How many people come through here, uh, kind of enjoying the energy room and enjoying the park itself? Well, we uh, know that we do programs for about 13,000 people during a year, and then the total visitation can only be estimated, but we estimate between 25 and 30,000 people come through the park during a year. So, I mean, that's a tremendous impact that you're having. Uh, with the, with the kids that are coming in, what, what do you think is the most exciting thing that they, they experience when they're here? Well, when they come in the nature center itself, uh, one of the big draws is our beehive. And uh, you, know, you say, well, what does that have to do with energy? And yet, it's a perfect example of where they can learn all about energy. How do bees gather their food? How do they store it over the winter? How do they stay warm during the winter? Why is there so many people? So they start to see how, yep, energy is uh, you know, ubiquitous, essential for everything. So they're storing their energy like everything else. What would you say is the one thing you'd really like to see kids or any visitors really uh, walk away with when they, when they come here to the Energerium and to the park itself? Mm -hmm. Well, for over two decades, our theme actually has been that everything is interrelated. Right. So the message that we hope people leave with is that we humans and everything we do is mm -hmm. solidly part of the larger living system. And uh, who knows, with that message then, that's the kind of understanding we have to have in order to solve some of the seemingly intractable problems that our society is in. Do you see what the kids learn here as elements of solutions? I mean, do, they, do you think they've actually got some concrete solutions they walk away with? Well, it depends on the program. Sometimes we're actually talking about specific energy solutions, for instance, and engaging in that conversation. And other times they're getting more of a, just a general understanding and, and again, hopefully that leading to not only the understanding, but the interest and enthusiasm for being able to solve problems. Like and there seems to be a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, there's a lot of You could say there's a lot of energy. <laughs> there's a lot of energy. But I won't, I won't say that. We won't. <laughs> Potomac Overlook is certainly one of the real gems of Arlington, uh, just a phenomenal resource. So I think all of us you know, appreciate what you're doing for us, for the county, and for all the people that live around here. So thanks for that, and thanks for sharing all this time with us today. We really appreciate it being able to walk around. Well, thanks, Joe. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Joe. And remember, there are plenty of educational resources for us adults here in Arlington, too. Check out the fall series of Green It workshops that the county is offering by going to www.arlingtonva.us. Click on the calendar and search for Environment Events. You'll also find nature walks, bird tours, and much, much more. We'll be right back after a look at the news.